There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. you guys oh my god great to see you makeup done i decided to go for something really basic because the hair color is different okay like totally different so i decided just to go with something basic you know basically all my makeup is basic that's what i was thinking okay like seriously let's make sure that we are in full focus and ready to go i'm ready to do this video okay hope you guys are having a great day i am all dolled up to just go absolutely nowhere but that's okay because i'm here with you guys video for the day the company i've never heard of them before i've never worked with them but they're called Nia Wig. I think it's either Nia Wig or Nia Wig. I'll definitely post all of their information down below. But this is like really blunt and different for me, you know. A girl has like, you know, high expectations of hair. Before I keep rambling on, I'm just gonna say this to you guys. Let's check out how your hair will come when you purchase from Nia Wig. When you receive your unit from Nia Wigs, you will receive it in their standard packaging. You also receive the amenities of a vent brush, which you can use on your unit or your own natural hair. You'll also be receiving the adjustable wig band, which you can easily remove from the unit if you do not choose to use it. Nia will also have their name on their black elastic band. Along with that, there will be a two-piece wig cap. This will help protect your hair. Along with that, it will also help protect your unit. And then we'll also find a silk tote bag which you can store your unit inside. The unit that I received is the 12 inch Glen Bob. This unit is extra different as it has two different colors. The density of this unit I do believe is about 150% and it is 12 inches in length. As you guys can see from the ends they are very blunt and straight. Cap sizes do vary from small to medium to custom. You will need to bleach the knots of the unit if you choose to. Make sure you check out Nia Wigs. I'll leave all of their information in the link below as they have many units to choose from on their website. And this one here is their lace frontal. All right guys, so now that you've seen it, I went ahead and yeah, I bleached her, but I only was able to bleach her on the one side where the dark hair is at. You know, that was where the natural roots were at. Yeah, I wasn't able to really bleach it, but I will be honest to say this, the knots are not that bad. It's a bob. I'm not gonna do like a whole bunch of different styles with it because it's 12 inches, but really nice, ma nicely made. They have a nice website. I think it's really organized. I really was thinking that it was more or less like a brown color. And now when I'm looking at this color, like it just kind of reminds me of like an eggplant. It's just like an eggplant color, but it's not a natural color. This is definitely not a natural color. It's just giving off like purplish eggplantish vibes, especially from the light. Either way, the wig is just gorgeous. And when you look at it in like certain different lighting, you can see like it has like these different colors in it. I want to say that this is more or less like three colors in here, but you know, I could be wrong because the girl can't see. One thing that I'm concerned about, and this is not just with this wig, it's with all wig companies that do this. They sew these black elastic bands in. I'm not like a huge fan of them only because they're always misplaced. They're never in the right position. 
and you always have to end up taking them off. I actually really don't care for the ones that have like this thick padding. Now there is one little um, harp that I have that I'm not like the hugest fan of is the short hairs, okay? I'm not sure if you can see them on camera, but I can't stand so many short hairs. I did have to fight them with a wax stick, but girl, listen, we just gonna get into this. I'm gonna put on some music that I'm gonna listen to and you guys can just watch me, okay? Okay. All right, guys, so as you guys see, I just took off the elastic band that I made, sold together. I use this to press down my hair. If I use some type of gel or a paste putty, I'll apply the elastic band and it'll actually lay my edges down. Extraordinary. So this is an easy method for me. And I just wear that until it's time to do the wig video. And now I'm going to remove some of the makeup that it took me so long to put on. And that's only because I want to make sure that the wig applies properly. So we're going to go ahead and try out this elastic band. Now I'm going to just tell you guys this because, you know, I already know what happened throughout the video. I did have to take the actual strap out the back on the elastic band because it did not fit properly. The tabs on the elastic band were a little bit too forward in the front. So instead of me removing the entire thing, I just removed the strap and I should have removed the entire Thing, like unsewed it but I really was not feeling feeling it like that like you know I just didn't feel like removing all of that so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace it is on a more lighter side which I was not expecting but I'm gonna say this this hair color is fire okay fire honey this hair color is bomb as hell I'm not sure who came up with this concept of this two-toned colors but the color is bomb as hell I thought the hair was like a natural color on the opposite side but girl it's more like a purplish type of eggplant color and I had to verify this when I looked at the website so yes 12 inches the lace wig is 12 inches I can't remember if it's a 13 by 4 or 6 but you know I will leave all the information down below for you guys for this unit um, like I said, this is the first time that I've ever worked with them. So, you know, for the first experience, I'm feeling the color a lot, okay? If you guys are wor wondering about the price of this unit, it is 40% off and it's $165, okay? There is the only color to choose from, which is the one that it is, um, that it comes in. But it looks really, really nice. The only downfall is I wasn't able to bleach the knots on the orange side but you know that's because the hair was already dyed so it would have to have been done prior to um you know coloring it but hey there's always a workaround so i'm gonna just use my got to be glam force gel and i'm gonna use excuse me gel hairspray and i'm gonna put it on the outside of the wig this time sometimes i do it underneath sometimes i do it outside or on top between the parts sometimes i do both but I'm just going to do on the outer part and I'm just going to put it in between the part and yeah, I'm just carrying along here, singing a song, you know, kind of happy. You know, when you hear them old deeper goodies, okay, from the nineties, girl, you'd be just getting into the groove of thing. So that's what I was doing. Ain't nothing wrong with a little Whitney Houston. Cause that's what I was listening to. I love Whitney. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same thing on the frontal portion along with that on the opposite side. And I'm gonna just take my blow dryer on cool to medium heat, girl, and blow dry her down. And then I'm gonna just keep repeating that step. Now, because some of the hairs did get a little stuck down from the hairspray, I'm just take my toothbrush and just brush them up and brush the hairspray out. That's the one thing I like about hairspray, girl. You know, it's easy to remove off the lace wig, off the hair, opposed to using, you know, gel or glue. But you know, it's your preference, so girl, do you. Now it's time to cut these little hairs down into a perfect size. So I'm gonna just use this eyebrow trimmer and just to cut, to cut in these sideburn hairs and these wispy hairs. Now this step is optional, you don't have to do it, but sometimes it will help camouflage the wig if you're not able to bleach the knots. But the knots were not that bad, but you know. So now it's time to use my favorite uh, styling mousse, which is from the Dollar Tree Salon Selectors. 
and I'm gonna just use this to sculpt some of my hairs and I'm also going to use it to brush the hairs back. Now because the side part, the sideburn hairs was kind of hard to push down due to the black piece of the elastic band, I had to use some hairspray, okay? And then I had to get real creative and use my sexy hair styling paste. I like this stuff, it works great. That's what I actually had on my hair in the beginning. That's what I used to paste my sideburn hairs down. It doesn't make your hair hard, it's soft, but it will hold. I can kind of, I can kind of compare it to the got to be styling mesmerizing putty. They both work the same, except for this brand, a Sexy Hair, gives you a sheen, which I like. So if you guys noticed my hair in the beginning of the video, or when I took that elastic off, that's where the sheen comes from, this, this paste from them. So they have some good products, I will say that. This is, um, you know, the first time I've ever applied it to the, the hair of the wigs, but I thought I would just continue to use it on the wig because, hey, it's not going to leave like any type of really nasty residue, and it's not going to make the hair hard. So I just decided to use the Sexy Paste on the entire hair. And it did hold the sideburns down good, so I will say that. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and just use my pressed powder to kind of like camouflage the unit as best as possible. I just really don't like the knots. I should have used my even uh, tinted hairspray, aerosol hairspray, but this is what I had on hand at the time and I didn't feel like getting up, so I was just kind of being lazy. And look at the color, like the color is really pretty on this unit. They did a very pretty job on this color, I will give them that. We'll just put a little show on for you guys and sing, you know what I'm saying? Okay guys, so, so like I said to you guys, I hope I've been focused. So like I told you guys, um, for one, the black elastic band that was sewed in was too close to the temple. They really need to stop putting them on the lace. They're sewing them on the lace and it does not need to be there. It needs to be back further, like past the comb. I said I was going to remove it, but then I was like, you know what, I'm not about to remove it. When the elastic band is, why does my shirt feel like it's lopsided? Like, is it just me? But I'm, I'm telling you guys, this side is, and I'm not even gonna worry about that no more, okay? I like the whole concept of this bob, the color, the flow, the, the length, I love it. But I am so tired of all of these black elastic bands that you can remove, like, you know, like you literally have to remove them and then either sew them back in or just put your own elastic band in. That's what I was thinking. I am so tired of doing that. Guess what? I'm just as aggravated as you. That's the reason why I just left it in. In that it would not hold down because of where the piece is at right here. Okay, because you see now I removed the elastic part. It still is too much in the way. So now I cannot really hold this down. It's gonna be a problem. Hairspray glue is just still gonna lift because this piece is mighty darn strong. It has wires in it. It's doing its own thing. You know what I'm saying? So now this side is lifting because of this piece. I really wasn't about to remove it. This side also is a little loose, but I'm gonna say this, the color is gorgeous. Like it's a really like, to me it's like an orangish color. It's totally different. You know, I like the style of it. Um, I'm just not so keen on the actual placement of the black elastic band thing. Thank goodness that it's a bob and I wasn't going to like pull it back or anything because had I done that, I would have definitely had to remove the black elastic band piece. But other than that, the wig is cool. I will say also this, I'm not like a huge fan of the lace color. So that's the reason why I had to doctor it up. What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? The lace to me seems a little bit thicker than most. That makes it a little bit more visible. So that's the one thing I'm not like a huge fan of is the lace on this unit. You're being a bit dramatic right now. But the color, they did their thing with this color, okay? And funny, but the hair is still really, really soft. So I'm just saying, and this shirt is driving me crazy. That's what I was thinking. 
because I swear to you guys, it is shorter on, why is this shirt? You know something? I don't know what's going on today, but this shirt is definitely going to come off. But anyway, so far as I am concerned, I just feel like they really need to place these black elastic removable bands in the proper placement because it does become a hassle if you have to remove it and then sew it back in. Part that I just really don't like. So that's the reason why I left it in. But overall, the wig is in great condition. The knots, I wish I could have bleached them all. And the lace just needs to be a little bit thinner. The combs are placed in the proper um, placement. And the comb in the nape area is actually much bigger than the rest of the combs, much wider, which is a plus because it gives you more, you know, protection. It will actually hold a lot better when they're like this size. So I'm like, okay, thank you. I don't really see a lot of wig companies do that. I'm going to go. You know, I got to do another video. I love you guys. Let me know what you think. I will post all of the information down below for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys, you know, keep it safe out there. Mask up, strap up. You know what I'm saying? It's a pandemic going on and I would hate for anybody to get sick. But my prayers, you guys are all in my prayers. And I hope that you all are being safe. Like, swear. I hope you guys are all being safe and, you know, keeping 12 feet away from people. I know the, I know what they say, but I'm just staying double that, okay? Okay. I love you. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. All the information will be down below. I got to go to another video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Get them, spin them, unless I'm soon to get them. I put the records on them. Big mans can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.